Good day, everyone. Um, uh, I hope you're 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 all fine, and um, I hope you you know you you share this video to your to your friends, especially to those who are you know willing to go and study C programming uh, language, right? Because um, though this uh, YouTube channel of mine is more on my own activities as you know as a family man. As a grandpa and you know as an, an, an IT instructor okay so um, today I will be sharing to you guys um, programming problems with solutions and uh, of course along the way as, as I, I always uh, uh, mentioned in here along the way I might be sharing to you my techniques in analyzing the problems okay so um, there are actually two problems that I am going to discuss today uh, it's very simple, but then um, I just love sharing this one for the beginners of uh, C programming language. Okay, number one problem is this one: design a program to display your name, address, age, and uh, mobile number. Okay, the problem dictates us to display. We. Um, when you say display, you can just display it directly. You can, as far as C programming language is concerned, you can use printf only, okay? If the problem says, design a program to ask for a name, then you'll be using input statements, like for example, uh, gets, right? Get car or scan it. But since the program says, design a program to display your name, then it's very simple, okay? Some programmers, some beginners um, used to used to complicate programming problems. But in my case, I just, you know, interpret the problem line by line, literally, and then out from that, I will analyze it and do programming. So, um, if I am going to, to solve this problem, uh, this is very simple. Uh, include what is this? Um, is the of that each, right? And then in main um, curly bracket as part of the syntax, then uh, printf. Very simple. Printf. Um, do not be tempted to use scanf in here because the pro, like I said, the problem says display. Okay. So I can say. Janelle de Hilig, right? And then um, print if okay um, address. So I can um, I am living in um, Nailon, Pugu, Setesbu, right? Very simple. And then um, print if uh, what's next? Uh, age, so um, I can say age 46, right? And then um, print F, what's next? Uh, mobile number, right? Mobile number, okay? Um, 09778424200. And then um, since I am using in MET, so I can need to have a return okay and um, I'll be doing some you know alignments in here okay um, okay and that's it that's it okay so we'll try uh, transferring this one to my online compiler I hope the signal is okay and then uh, very simple some some learners tend to complicate simple programming problems but like I said uh, when you are to create programs and solve you know create solutions out from the problem try to try to do it in a simple way Jack Ma said make it simple huh? make it simple every problem in life 
according to Jack Ma, handle it and make it simple. Okay. So, we'll try to paste it here. Okay, this is right. If you can remember, I just copy the program and place it on my online um, compiler. We'll try clicking run command. Okay, okay, so this is now the screen out of app. Ah, sorry, I need to place some backslash n right so backslash n y to move the cursor to the next line okay so like here so when i click run um then i can have my name right address and uh, age and a mobile number as simple as that okay as simple as that that is the solution for um Problem number one, um, some programmers or some learners uh, tend to use scanf and ask for a name. It's useless because the, pro the problem says, design a program to display. Okay, now let us move on to the next problem. This is a little bit technical, but uh, again, uh, Jack Ma said, make it simple. So, uh, analyze interpret the problem in a simple way line by line if there's a need for you to analyze it word after word then do it do it okay so here design a program to ask a while ago we did programs to display by using printf statement now the program is demanding us to you to, to ask for how many values five integer values okay so, um, if I need to ask for five integer values, then I might need how many variables? Five variables, integer variables, right? And then, um, sorry, here. Next one is compute for the difference between the first value and the second value. So, um... I might be using diff, right, to compute for the first value and the second value. And the formula is diff is equal to A minus B, right? Because the, fir the first value is, is on A and the second value, value is on B. And whatever is that result will be stored to my variable diff. And I declare diff as an integer variable because a and B has an integer values also, right? And then, if you can see, I tend to analyze and interpret the problems word after words, right? Okay? And uh, the next one is compute for the sum. So, I need another variable, which is sum, right? And what is the purpose and the use of this sum? Compute for the sum of the third value which refers to variable C, fourth value refers to D, and fifth value which refers to, to, to E. So, I will say sum is equal to C, which is the third value, plus the fourth value, right, and the fifth value. And whatever is the result of this C plus D plus E will be stored to my sum. Alright? The next one is what? Compute for the product. So again, I need to add product or prove. I can I can use prove. And then, what is this product? The product of the difference between first value and second value. It, this difference between first and second value refers to our diff. Right? Against the sum of the third, fourth, and fifth value. The sum of the third, fourth, and fifth value refers to what sum and whatever is that we will be storing that to the product so uh, the formula is pro is equal to what whatever is diff multiply it by your sum that's according to the problem and then the last sentence demanded us to display it on the screen in a user's friendly manner when we say users friendly manner, meaning by, by just looking at 
the screen output of your program, uh, the user can understand and can clearly get what are those screen outputs that he is facing on the screen. Okay? So, there is only one way to make your programs a user's friendly screen output. And that's by way of putting enough printf statement to explain the different values in it. Okay? So, um, after, you know, um, of course, since the program demanded us to ask for a value, so we'll be using scanf. Are you following? So we can see scanf um, percent %d and percent %a, right? But then um, the program, the problems demanded us to have a user's friendly way of doing things. So we need to put some additional printf statement. So we can say here enter first value, right? And whatever is that, store it to A. Then the next one is another printf statement. Okay. Enter. I'm sorry. Enter second value. And then um, scan F. Right. Um, percent D. Why percent D? Because uh, we are declaring A, B up to E as an integer variable. Why we did use scanf? Because the program, the problem demands us to ask for five values. Okay. Uh, printf, enter, third, value. Okay. And then um, scanf, uh, percent D, this time will be storing it to C. And then print f again okay um enter uh, fourth value in scan f again scan f um i'm sorry uh percent d as our data placeholder and uh we'll be storing this to d and then last print if statement to ask for the fifth value Okay, and whatever is that value, insert it to your variable. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, percent E. Okay, so and then since a, B to E has already values, then this will be processed by the C compiler. And then the, the, the problem demands us to display the result. So to display, we'll be using printf, right? So what is then? The, the difference between first value which is equals to person we can place the, the the value in here first value and the second value to make to make our screen output a users a users friendly one is um, equal to then another data placeholder plus period okay and then we'll be storing the value of a b and comma and the diff diba? this one and then the next value that we need to display because this is being demanded by by the problem okay so the the the, the total value of um third value uh, how much is that and fourth sorry value whatever is that and um, fifth 
value whatever is that okay is equal to whatever is that for you so we'll be storing here what c d e and the sum okay are you following and the next one is the last formula print if um product of the product of um now here uh the product of this one and this one will be stored to this and display so the product of the difference between okay first value and the second second value is equal to percent d against the the sum the total of third fourth and fifth and fifth uh, is equal to whatever okay is equal to whatever is the value okay and then we'll be storing diff sum and I'm going to explain this um, line by line and then uh, issue a command return zero okay so we'll try um, uh, clicking here and try to transfer this program to to our online uh, compiler and uh, we'll be okay we'll be oh I'm sorry all right so we'll try to you know do some alignment to make our program um, very you know clear to to look at and you know interpret I just use the K to do some alignments right here so this is now our program we need to have five integer variables because the, the the problem demands us to ask for five values right and then we need to have three another integer variables for the difference between the first and second the sum of the third fourth and fifth and the product of the difference and the sum okay so now since we need to have five values so to ask for five values we we are using scanf and printf Enter first value, store it to A. Enter second value, store it to B. Enter third value, store it to C. Enter fourth value, store it to D. Enter fifth value, store it to E. Now, after all these five values, uh, you'll then compute for the difference between the first and second. The first value is in A, and the second value is in B. So, whatever is the result of this expression, that will eventually be stored to diff. Okay? Now, uh, we are to compute for the sum of the third value, the fourth value, and the fifth value. And then, compute for the product of difference and the sum. After all these three variables, okay, by the way, these three variables are actually the result of our analysis in here. Okay? Design a program to ask for five integer values and compute for the difference between first, second value. Compute for the sum of third value, fourth value, and fifth value, and compute for the product of the difference between first and second value against the sum of third, fourth, and fifth value. Then display it on the screen. Okay, that's our our problem, and this is the result of our analysis. Okay, so we'll try clicking run command. Let's see if this program will will run. Okay, now the program is asking for the first value. Let's say two. Our program is asking for the third value let's say four now right see so if you look at it our program is a little bit say user friendly maybe just looking at the screen 
uh, if I am the user, I, 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 get, I get it clear that the program is needed for a particular value. Then I can say 5, right? And here, um, I can put 6 as my fourth value, then 7 as my fifth value. When I press enter K, then it displays the result. Oh, there's a need for us to put some, um, by the way, uh, box last in. Okay? So we'll try adding box last in, in here. And we'll try adding box last in, in here also. And uh, we'll try adding box last in, in here. So, so we'll run it again. Let's see if this program will run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Right. So here, the difference between first value, which is 1, and the second value, which is 2, is negative 1. Correct? Right? The total value of the third value, which is 3, and fourth value, which is 4, and fifth value, which is 5, is equal to 12. Correct? 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. The product of the difference between the first value and the second value is negative 1, which is correct, right? Negative 1. Against the total of third, fourth, and fifth, which is equal to 12, which is correct, right? The product of negative 1 and 12 is what? Negative 12. So, it's very simple. And it's what? It's users friendly. What makes this one and what makes this 2 and negative 1 place here because of this percent D. These are actually placeholder. I, I hope we are clear on this. Okay? So, we'll try another set of values. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. We need press enter K. The difference between 2 and 4 is negative 2. The total value of third value which is 6, 8, 10 is 24. And the product of the difference of negative 2 and 24 is negative 48. So um, that's how I, that's that's our program. I I am sure the program is correct. We, we, we run it, we execute it, and we we try to compare it to the problems and it's correct. Okay, so um, I, I, I hope I shared something uh, valuable today on your part, in your journey. Uh, I want you to enjoy learning C programming language. I give you problems and I give you solutions and along the way I tend to give you some techniques in analyzing problems. Basta all I can say is, say is this. When you tend to analyze the problem, apply Jack Ma's principle of life. Make it simple. Do not complicate things. Do not look for formulas or programs that will somehow complicate along the way. Just interpret the problem line by line, sentence by sentence, word by word. And then out from that analysis, create a formula. Okay? If you're a programmer, you have and you must know how to create formulas out from the scratch based on the problem. But at the end of the day, make it sure that your problem, outward, I mean, that your programs, that your solutions targets the problem. Okay? So, um, thank you so much for, for now. I, I hope I shared something useful today. And please, um, share this video to your friends okay so that in one way or another we can we can you know we can do something good especially to those friends who are you know willing to learn c programming language like i said when you are to be good in programming start at c the best foundation in programming is c okay take it from me i've been into this uh, programming language for a long long years now thank you so much um, God bless you. God bless us.